Photo Free Studio here. Number one dance man, L. Leon Williams. We filmed a number of videos and footage from the Cycle Club. From moths, butterflies, caterpillars, ants. So now we thought we'd film some tadpoles and do a couple of scientific science fiction theater type experiments as you see in the foreground as we try to enlarge it zoom in a little bit some activity of the tadpoles in an environment that they've hatched in and fed in. Now many are not familiar with tadpoles and there are a lot of things yet to be learned about tadpoles. Tadpoles, by the way, uh, are, are frogs that eventually, uh, creatures that eventually turn into frogs, but in this early stage of life or formation. We'll just, we just want uh, about 10 to 20 minutes of footage of this, these creatures, okay? So what we're going to do right now is go get some food. Uh, we think it's food, hope it's food, and put it in there and see if it attracts them or if, it's, can, if they like it enough to eat it. Something like a fragments of a tomato. Uh, fragments of pieces of bread and maybe we have a piece of a fig maybe they'll try that we'll drop it in and see if it'll attract them but right now you see um, evidently they're um, eating off of something inside this uh, containment they are in the environment they are in and uh, surviving uh, they're growing so they're being nurtured by something they're all over there and we're wondering, we're not actually wondering about or anything like that. We're inquisitive as to the fact, you see, this is one side of the environment, and there's another side with tadpoles in it also. Matter of fact, they're all around. It's a circular uh, cylinder type of uh, containment they're in. Actually, it's a type of uh, washing machine tub. And uh, they're on all sides of it. And, and you see this plant. This plant is the width of the, uh, the tub, the containment cylinder. And they're all around on each side. And we'll see them before we leave. And I was just wondering if they know each other like uh, one side of the ocean to the other side. If they'd uh, ever get to that side of the ocean uh, like the Atlantic or Pacific. Okay? So uh, you will uh, view this footage real qu a little bit and we'll be right back with you. We'll try to zoom in a little bit more for you. Great, that's, that's fantastic. And we're using a Canon X820 by the way. And it's doing great. Uh, maybe we can zoom just a tad more. Tad, get that tadpole, tad move. Okay, and we'll be right back. Thank you so much. Oh, the plant, by the way, and I'll show you, show it to you as I leave, is a um, water lily. This is a water lily type plant.
Okay, this is Photo Suite Studio, number one lens man, L. Leon Williams back with you. And we now have, I now have in my hand, uh, pieces of a tomato, it's red, orange, pieces of a fig, it's green, and pieces of a bread. I'll show it to you. And we're going to drop that in there. Excuse me, I hit the lens. And we're going to drop that in there and see how the uh, creatures, these creatures, react to it, to the food uh, that we call food. First, we'll drop the piece of fig. And I noticed some immediately went down to it. Now, there doesn't seem to readily be a readily attracted to the fig piece. We want to drop it in a, a space of time to where we can actually dis distinguish. I see they're going around it now. It looks like some are going to tr try to see if it's edible. One's right there. Camera should be able to pick that up. It's not floating, but I can see with my naked eye that some are attracted to the big piece. Now let's drop the uh, tomato piece in there. We call this red. It should float a lot. So this in here now. They're not readily attracted to it either. But they seem to like the fig piece because it's green. I guess they like green things, plant like. Well, uh, tomatoes are a plant like thing, aren't they? I do see one or two around the tomato plant, but now there's quite a lot more around the fig plant. It looks like they're using it as a food source. Okay, let's try the bread now. They don't seem readily attracted to it either. Some of the young ones that don't want to compete for the food are going right to it. It looks like they're nurturing off it. Oh, you can see it right there. How about that? They like bread. Forced it down. And they have some weight because they forced the bread down. I think got a little bit more water logged though, so you can see that. I'm going to reposition the camera for a second to show you how many have uh, come to that piece of bread to, to nurture on it. You see there's quite a lot more.
they really enjoying that bread. Now quite a lot of them eating pieces now. Oh, Mr. Fred is here with us right now. Come over and speak to him. Oh, he don't want to be now. He's camera shy. All of a sudden, <laughs> come see the lovely tadpole. Come on, come on, Mr. Fred. Oh, he don't want to see, but they're enjoying that bread right now. Man, I don't see too many. Seems like they left the fig plant and not too many is on the on the uh, tomato plant either. Let's see if I can get a little closer up here. And get them more. Well, it's starting to fade out right there. Maybe I can uh, manually hold the uh, lens to where you can see it a little better. How about there? Great, huh? And that, that's a piece of bread is something they can is something that's digestible to them. Oh, Mr. Fred, can you come over for a minute? I'm gonna go get him. I want him to see this. Say hello to the camera. Hey. Okay. Mr. Fred, see, I fed some bread down there. Okay. Uh, it's got little tadpoles in there. Oh. And uh, we're doing a video right now for the Cycle Club on the YouTube. And we're going to put it on the YouTube. You heard of the YouTube, okay. right? Yeah. And so uh, people like to see creatures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So we do uh, a video. We're going to put it on the Cycle Club. Uh, of the tadpole. You know tadpole. Yeah, yeah, we know. Frog, we know right? Yeah, that's right. That's right. Okay. Uh, thank you for joining us, uh, Mr. Craig. What's your last name, sir? Uh, hmm? Paul. 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 For the palm. Like a plum or a palm. Palm. Okay, Mr. Palmer, we appreciate you dropping in and visiting us here at Okay, you're going to take a couple of snapshots.
Okay, I think we got enough footage now. So we're going to show you the circumference of this container. And like I said, we got, <laughs> we found the, uh, uh, how you say it, uh, speculate about how it feels. Uh, I don't know if the word is speculate or wonder how if, if they have any sentiments at all about what side they're on, location, or if there's an uh, order in there. As far as location-wise, what side of tank you got to stay on, or you're allowed on the <laughs> northwest by east side or the east side by north side. But this is how it looks in the tank. You see those there? Take a look here. Okay, now, zoom out. Come to this side here. So there we are. So. Like I said, this is a water lily, and this is the type of flower it makes. Isn't that beautiful? And this is a young blossom. How about the blossoms? Special thanks to Mr. Fred for dropping in and calling us. And special thanks to the YouTube. Special thanks. Oh, by the way, let me interject here. And see, this film was shot, this footage was taken in the United States of America, in Houston, Texas, at 5909 Southland Street, Houston, Texas, 77033-1023. Okay, and let me also say, that uh, this is uh, Thursday, June 8th, 2017. Okay. And 
that being said, uh, the honey bee is back. You might see it buzzing around. Okay. And with that being said, uh, we'd like to finish thanking the YouTube, uh, the Judo Federation, and the Karate Federation, uh, and Karate. They also, you can find them at the YouTube. Uh, we also like to thank uh, Mayor uh, Turner of Houston. And also all the city all the city of Houston Thank you for being a cyber club.